Hi, this is Mallory with IMG, and today we're going to be talking about search marketing. You can find the search marketing feature underneath the content tab. And then on the left hand side, you'll see a drop down called search. Here we have a couple of different options, so let's go through each one. So let's start with keywords. When you click into keywords, you'll see the keywords report. The keywords report allows you to insert different keywords of interest and see their SEO results. So as you can see, digital marketing here, we have a Google rank, a Bing or Yahoo rank, Google monthly volume, cost per click, ranking difficulty, and when this was last checked. So just to go through those a little bit more in detail, Google rank is going to show if you've ranked in the top 20, um, that will be listed as unranked if you're not in the top 20 for those results. Same with the Bing and Yahoo rank. The Google monthly volume is related to how many searches are being made on this keyword within your region in that month. Google cost per click, so that's the average cost per click for that keyword. The ranking difficulty is going to show you how hard it is to rank highly with that keyword. So if it's something a little more generic, it might be a little bit more difficult to get up near the top. Whereas if you have a more specific keyword, you're more likely to reach the top of the Google page or the Bing and Yahoo page. And then the last check date, pretty self-explanatory. It tells you when this was last checked and updated. Now, if we go over to the competitors tab, this is where you'll see ranking information for your competitors. So in order to add a competitor, you just add the name of the competitor and their website, and you would create competitor. For this example, I'm going to use the one that we already have in here, Tribal Vision. This is going to show you all of their ranking information, including external and internal linking, their page authority, how they rank, and how many other sites have linked to their domain. There are a lot of options here, but as you can see, if you hover over the different columns, you'll be able to see exact definitions of these different columns. But essentially, this is giving you a great overview of how your competitors are ranking compared to you. Next, we have paid search. Paid search is really only very useful if you have the Google AdWords connector, uh, which is only available in Pardot editions higher than Pardot growth. So if you have your Google AdWords connector enabled, this is where it will show you kind of a high level overview of all of your current and past uh, campaigns, and also how many ad groups and ads you have and prospects that have converted from those Google ads. And finally, we have site search. Site search essentially allows Pardot to connect with your website's search tool, which means that any prospects that are searching on your site for different keywords would all show up here. And you'd be able to see which keywords are most searched from your prospects, giving you some good insight on maybe some pages to boost or maybe which product is most popular. And that's all there is to it. The search marketing tab in Pardot is very useful to see your own ranking for your keywords, your competitors ranking, your Google AdWords performance, if you have that connector, and also which keywords are being searched for on your own website. Thank you.